welcome back to our channel in today's video i'll be showing you everything you need to know about sustaining or keeping fit your laptop's battery for efficient use if it should take your mind backward there are some times you discover your system gets slow in running your processes all thanks to your dead battery do you know why all this thing happens i don't think you know but in today's video i will show you all you need to know about why your battery dies easily number one thing you need to know is if you plan traveling and you are to live without your system your PC all you have to do is remove the battery and then separate the system and the battery this will automatically save the life of the system but in most cases people leave their system with the battery and travel they don't know that separating the battery with the system will help sustain the life of that battery let me show you what i mean If I'm to travel, all I have to do is to separate the battery and the system. If I keep it like this, when I'm back, even if it's a year, you see that the system and the battery will still work accordingly. But if the opposite happens, you see that you need to get a new battery. Because if the system stores the battery in it for a long time, the energy of that battery will waste because a system just like you're living in a house where there's food and you're hungry you won't be able to to uh, skip eating such food you won't be able to you know avoid the food so it's the same thing here since the battery is inside the system the system must use it thereby draining the entire energy of that battery and rendering the battery useless So on getting back, you need to inspect your battery. You see that this process automatically has solved that problem of getting a new battery with a simple step. So let me show you other ways which your battery easily drains off. Or dies off. You see that putting your system in hibernation mode equally kills battery. But in this video, I will show you what to do in order to sustain your battery, in order to keep your battery's life flowing, floating. See that I just powered this system. I want to show you what to do after you put your system in 
a hibernation mode. But options like lock, options like lock, sleep does not kill battery because if you should put your system in sleep mode, that means you are just putting uh, the system in that mode for few minutes, few hours, and not for weeks or a month. Putting your system in sleep mode means that maybe you want to get something in the next room, in the next office, and you'll be back shortly to continue from where you stopped. But locked, lock for example, let me show you what lock means in a system. Lock means that equally, just like uh, the sleep mode, you want to get something in a nearby place, you know, you don't want anybody to get access to the system. So that is why locking your system in the pro this in this process is necessary. Uh, although locking this system in this mode will drain your battery, will as in would uh, send the battery to its low state. You don't have to really keep it much. So let me take you back to. Uh, the main course we came here for, which is to show you what to do after you hibernate your system. So let's hibernate the system. And then I'll show you what to do in order to keep your battery floating in good wings. Let's go. We are waiting for the system to turn off. That's turned off. So you simply get to the back of the system so you can take off the battery after a successful hibernation. I'm removing the battery. Even if I keep it for years, nothing happens to the battery, nothing happens to the system. The only thing you need to do is to maybe put it in its back, you know, a, a covered back so that dust will not penetrate it so for system uh, that is a uh, is having a a battery that is inbuilt what you need to do is put your system in a full shutdown never you put it in hibernation mode because it will kill the battery Remember, there is no place to remove the battery because it's inbuilt. So I'd advise you to use a total shutdown, a full shutdown on systems that are inbuilt battery or having inbuilt batteries. So I believe you fully understand what I've shown you today, and I know you have learned how to keep your battery flowing to sustain your battery in the process of traveling in the process of uh, spacing your system in the process of having an emergency and you don't have to go with the battery i know you have subscribed to our channel to those who are yet to please subscribe to our channel drop your comments like the video Remember, when you subscribe, you are telling us to drop more videos and you are awaiting more videos from us. 
Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.